Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna do just like a chill, I don't know what to call it, like a get ready with me because I'm not getting ready for anything. <laughs> but I just want to test some new makeup that I have and also use some of the products that I put in my seasonal makeup basket. So if you didn't see that video, I'll link it below. Um, because there you'll see like everything that's in there but yeah I just kind of felt like playing with makeup it's actually Thanksgiving Monday today so obviously this video will go up after but I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving a uh, Canadian Thanksgiving obviously because <laughs> it's still only October uh, 12th when I'm filming this so yes I guess we'll just get started. I already used my priming products, so my Tatcha Luminous, what is this called? I don't know, Tatcha the Pearl. It's like this tinted eye cream. I have been using there. I mean, <laughs> I should have a lot more used considering how old this is, but I have been using it and I've been using this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm that I got in a boxy charm. I'm actually really loving this. Um, it looks like a moisturizer, if you can see that. And yeah, I mean every, sh every uh, foundation that I've used it with so far, it's been really good. So I actually do have a new foundation to test today. It's just a sample. It's the NARS um, Soft Matte Complete Foundation. The new one that everyone is raving about. I don't think this is my color. It's uh, Fiji. It looks very beige, but Whatever, this is just for fun. So I really want to try this. And I have a new concealer, the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin High Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. This one here. Whatever product I don't have that's new, I'll just grab it from my Shop My Stash. So yeah, I think I'm just going to dive right in. So I've heard really good things about this foundation. Because I just have like the little sample. It doesn't really say much on here at all. Usually I don't go for matte foundations because I have dry skin. But this one was really intriguing to me because everyone seems to really like it. Okay, it's more liquidy than I thought it would be. Just go with that for now. And I want to use my Rare Beauty foundation brush because I really like it. This one here. Yeah, this is very yellow for my skin tone, but um, it's not that dark. It's not as dark as I thought it would be. I guess it's like a medium coverage so far. I might have to go over this with my sponge because it's kind of like clinging to my dry spots. I don't really like this right now. I don't know how well you can see that it's like um, kind of clinging to my dry patches and like sitting on top of the skin. So I just went to dampen my sponge so I can hopefully make this look better. I was really expecting to like this because um, even people with dry skin 
were saying that they really like this foundation, but you can just see it like, I'll try to zoom in. I don't know how well you can see, but it just looks like it's sitting on my skin. So I don't really love it. But um, also when foundations look like this on me, the first time I put them on, they sometimes look better later. Like that's what happened with the Rare Beauty foundation. So if this ends up looking better, I will leave an update below. But so far, not my favorite. But considering that small amount that I used, I mean, that's pretty good coverage, I would say. I don't want to put any more on to see if it builds because, like I said, it already looks like it's sitting on my skin, so yeah. But this is a good sample. I think it wasn't really a sample. It was like one of those promos that you add code for, but like I could get like a lot more uses out of this so I can keep testing it out. And the shade is actually not bad at all. Yeah. So like I said, I also have this concealer to try. It looks like this. I can't remember if I've already used this on camera, but I feel like this is like Makeup Forever's version of Shape Tape because it's like that kind of um, thick tube with the big doe foot applicator like this. Technically, this should go well with this foundation because they're both matte. Or at least they both have matte in the name, so let's try this. This looks quite dark for me, for under eye. But we're just gonna go for it. Yes, I think I remember now, I did use this as under eye concealer before, and I did like crease in my fine lines. So I'm gonna try today to set it with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Powder. Cause the last concealer I used is this uh, Too Faced one. The uh, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It's kind of the same idea as this one actually. Um, and I put the Becca powder on top and it looked really good, so we'll see. That actually does look like it brightened, considering it, it didn't look very brightening in the tube. So I'll just use that um, as a spot concealer also. This is definitely covering my spots. Oh, I shouldn't have put so much on my nose because it already looked cakey. Yeah, so it already is creasing in my fine lines. I don't think you can really see that on camera. And also I'm right in front of the window, so. It's not crease proof, that's for sure. Go in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. I hate the packaging of this because it's one of these, like, it's just open. So every time I open it, I have to be like very careful or else it will fly up everywhere because it's very finely milled. So I just have to make sure I get those lines out before I set them. And then I just put my brush right in and there's like so much powder. <laughs> so I try to tap it off and then I just go like this. It's a translucent powder so don't like freak out that it's white. It doesn't like leave a white cast or anything. 
at least on my skin tone. So we'll see how this holds up because I believe the last time I did this, it still, it creased, but like, it's like almost like the formula cracked. I don't, that doesn't sound <laughs> very pleasant, but I just mean like, it doesn't crease in the way because it's like too dewy. It just creases um, because it's like matte, I guess. And I don't like, well, obviously I don't like products that make me look even older than I am. <laughs> so, it looks really smooth and nice on camera, at least from what I can see, but in person it looks a bit crepey. And I have some new eyeshadows to try, so I'm going to use my primer potion. I've actually really been liking this. You just have to make sure that you don't put like a lot of powder on your lids before you put this on because it will like start to pill. But otherwise it works really well. Like now that I, cause I didn't have this for a while cause I left it at my condo and like all my eyeshadows were creasing and I was like, oh. I think that primer potion actually worked <laughs> and it does so yeah before the eyes i'll finish the rest of my face i really want to use my sailor moon and ColourPop collab this is the cat's eye one i don't remember if this is the shimmer yeah this is the shimmery one so it looks like this oh my god i don't even want to mess up the little face but I mean that's why I bought it to use it right I'm gonna use this um Royal and Lang Nicole Moda Studio it doesn't have a name because it came in a set in a boxy charm but these Royal and Lang Nicole it's hard to say <laughs> Royal Royal and Lang Nicole these Moda Brushes are very good. They're like some of my favorites. So I, I've never used a ColourPop blush before, so I have no idea what this will end up like. That's nice. I can move. I can see the shimmer on my skin. It's like a silver shimmer, but it doesn't look bad. Is that a lot? <laughs> My sponge rolled away, so I guess I can't use that to dab this out. I think I brought it too low here. That looks really cute. And I didn't mess up the face too much. So these aren't like super soft and powdery, they're more like hardly pressed. And if you didn't see me haul this, here's the packaging, I love it so much. Um, for highlighter, I actually technically have two new highlighters because they came in this palette. This I mentioned in my um, eyeshadow palette tag video. This is the Carnival Palette by Be Perfect Cosmetics and Stacey Marie. It looks like this. Every time I open this, I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's so pretty. Yeah, so these two are highlighters. I'm definitely going to use the more pinky one, Saint, because this I think would be better for me when I'm more can. I'm gonna use my Milani All Over Blending Brush. I've never tried Be Perfect Cosmetics, so I have no idea what to expect. It looks like a bit powdery, but I think that's the foundation, because even the blush, um, 
it just kind of like the more product they put over it the more it kind of looks dry so I don't know if that's the highlighter or the foundation but I like the I mean it has a nice glow yeah it just kind of looks like again it's sitting on top of my skin but on camera it looks good <laughs> Thanks to natural lighting, I guess. That looks really nice on camera. I'm sure I would like it with my, um, with like a more dewy base, but still doesn't look bad. Yes, for bronzer. I don't have any new bronzers, so I'm just going to use my Fenty Beauty Shady Biz. I also have the cream um, Fenty Beauty, but I already put so much powder on my face that I don't think it will go very well. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm also just trying to buff that highlighter in a bit more. So for eyes, I definitely want to use these new palettes. So again, there's the Stacey Marie, Stacey Marie Carnival palette and then the other one is this um, palette I got in a boxy charm oh, no. it's called the Queen palette by Eloise and I also showed this one in my palette video because these happen to be the newest palettes in my collection so that one looks like this it's still colorful but more like jewel tones whereas the Stace Marie one is more like vibrant colors. Does the Stace Marie have yeah the Stacy Marie one has more mattes up here that I can use as like transition shades and the Eloise one really the only transition shade is this Sheba but that's kind of like a peachy brown so yeah I guess I'm gonna use the carnival palette today but even this one the transition shades are these here so this is kind of like a taupe this one is like Yeah, brown, I guess. And then this deeper one. So I think like with both palettes, you would get more like a dark base, at least on my skin tone. But that's okay. It's just different from what I normally do. Um, I think I'm going to go in with the naked shade. So like that taupe one here. This palette is so big, it's weird to show on camera. This is actually kind of similar to the shade in the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay collab, Basic Trut, or however you say it, but maybe that one's a bit more like pinky. This one is more taupe, but it's the same kind of like depth. Yeah, I guess in the one in the Nikki palette is more brightening. This one gives more of a shadow for me. But I like it. I really don't know what I want to do. There's actually only a few shimmers in this palette. There's this, um, this one, Hustle, here. Then this Queen, Queen? Queenie, Queenie. And this hush shade, and then these two blues, and the rest are all mattes. I actually kind of like that, because I have so many colorful shimmers in my collection. It's good to have like some more mattes to blend them out with. I just don't know what to do. There's so many options. <laughs> But that queeny shade is calling my name. It's like a bronzy gold. 
So yeah, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Basic, that like mid-tone brownish one, just to get some more definition in the crease. kind of leans a bit pink, this shade. I just kind of want to bring it out more. And then the dark brown Rowdy, just for my outer corner. I think this might look quite similar to my last, my like neutral look <laughs> in the, in my Nikki tutorials video. But that's that's okay because that's what I um, lean towards anyway normally so I think what I noticed so far is the Beauty Bay the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette the shades are more pigmented like right off the bat because I use the, like I just said I use the same kind of shades in the neutral look that I did and that one was like oh like when I when I first put the shades down there was like a lot of color payoff this one is more like I can keep building it which isn't a bad thing just something that I noticed and then like I said I'm gonna go in with the queenie shade all over the lid so I'll try it with a brush first, but it might be a finger kind of shade. Mm, it's going on quite well on the on a brush. Oh yeah. That doesn't even need a f that went on so well with the brush. So I think Yeah, I'm sorry I keep comparing it to the Nikki Tutorials one, it's just that I just used that palette, so it's like in the back of my mind, but the shimmers in this one are much more smooth and go on better with a brush, whereas the ones in that palette are more like flaky, so it kind of needs like the warmth of your finger to smooth them on. So I guess it's up to your preference. I know some people um, really don't like applying eyeshadow with their fingers, so you might prefer this one. That's a really nice, like, like I said, bronzy gold. I really like that. And I'm just kind of bringing it, like, a bit higher than my natural crease, just so I can see it. Like when my eyes open, I can still see the shimmer. This is kind of turning into a very fall look. I think I just need to go back in with the basic shade, this one here. Just to blend the edges here a bit better and just bit more of the dark brown rowdy shade and then for the bottom lash line I think I want to put the shimmer on the bottom too so first I'm just gonna go back in with basic just to have like a base down And then I'll go in with Queenie. If you were trying to do like a more precise look, you might want to dampen your brush when you put the shimmers on the lower lash line, but I don't really care today. <laughs> For the highlight, what do I want to do? There's like a pure white shade 
this one. I think it's pure. Mm, no, it has. I think it has a pink shift, or am I crazy? <laughs> I have to see this. That's weird. I can barely tell. I think it's more, it's not like a shimmer, but it's kind of like a satiny shade. Yeah, I definitely think there's a pink shift. You can't see anything. Sorry. Mm. And then there's this moon shade, which I think has a blue shift. No, it doesn't. Oh, that could be good. That one's more like a metallic. Can you see? Yes. Oh, that's a good inner corner shade. So I'll use that one. Whoa. Wow, that is a lot more uh, pigmented than I was expecting. And like a yellow gold almost. It's kind of like the shade in the Jackie Ina palette where it looks white in the pan, but it has a gold shift. I really like that. Okay, so there's two what looks like white shades in this palette that look completely different in a swatch. Fun. I really should use these, this like section here though in a look, but I wasn't that ambitious today, I guess. Well, I like this so far. Um, I, I did like the shades I used as my transition shades. I liked the ones in the Nikki Tutorials palette better. I found these ones, I had to build them up more. What? But, um, I mean, that's not terrible. And some people prefer to do their makeup like that anyway. So yeah, just something to note. I'm going to do my eyebrows and mascara off camera because I'm not using anything new. And I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing for my mascara and I've really been liking it. So I use the uh, Voluminous, Voluminous <laughs> Lash Paradise. The primer, well, the primer is just called Voluminous Base, and then the Lash Paradise Mascara from L'Oreal. I really like these. Um, but for my lower lash line, I've been using the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Um, I use this in my full face of Wet n Wild, and like I said in that video, just like how small and thin the the brushes, the applicator, it just works really well for my lower lashes. Because this, this brush is very chunky, if you haven't seen it before. It's like the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, it's like huge. So this could get very messy on the lower lashes, so I really like using this one. Just thought I would mention that. And the foundation does look better now. I also applied my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow. Um, that usually fixes things. It still looks a bit cakey on my forehead here, but it's not horrible. We'll have to see how it wears, and like I said, I'll leave an update down below. Um, yeah, so the only thing left to do is the lips, and as usual, I have a lot of new lip products. So, I'm not even sure where to begin. I guess let's keep this like a fall kind of look, so maybe something more like dark and vampy. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl lipstick. That could be something. I also have this liquid lipstick that I got in a boxy charm by the Beauty Crop. This is Date Night. 
Mm, I'm thinking something even darker than that though. This is from my shot my stash, so not the new stuff yet. Oh, I have this. This Bite Beauty Cognac. That's, that could be something. But I do want to show you my new stuff. Well, one of them I'm not going to use, I already know, because it won't go with this. Well, it could go with this look, but I want something like more vampy. But I did pick up the Bite Beauty Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss infused with cinnamon oil. I'm so excited about this. I haven't even used it yet. This is what it looks like. I love this packaging. It's The cap is like their lipstick, their Amuse Bouche lipsticks. But when you open it, it has like a hard plastic applicator because you actually twist the product and it comes out of there. I haven't even done anything with this yet. I haven't swatched it or anything. But um, yeah, I'm very excited about this. It just doesn't go with my look today. Um, I got the shade Guava Puff. Even the shade name is cute. So that's exciting. And I've never tried a plumping lip gloss with cinnamon oil. So that's fun. Um, I also got another lip gloss in BoxyCharm by Persona. Whoop. And I dropped it on the floor. This is the shade Honey. This won't be dark enough. Oh my god, did I break it? I actually broke it. I'm so stupid. I just broke this. And it looks so nice, too. Well, that sucks. Well, there was that. But it looked like a nice warm gloss. I'm really sad, and it smells good. Oh, dear. It just, like, the whole stopper thing came right off, and it stuck in the cap. So that's fun. Maybe I could, like, crazy glue it. Um, and then I got Makeup Forever actually sent me these. I have two of the new lipsticks. Um, these Artist Rouge Intense Color Beautifying Lipsticks. Um, these are super fun. I have the shade Virtuous Goji and Brazen Pink. I didn't choose these shades, but I'm still thankful that they sent them to me. Um, I chose three other ones, but I got these, so <laughs> I guess they ran out. But this one might be a winner. So this is the packaging. It's super cool. So they said in the like press thing that it's supposed to be like a lip brush. Where did I put that? Yeah, lip lip brush inspiration. So you actually take the cap off and then you put it on the bottom of the lipstick and then you can use it like this. Isn't that so fun? So I think this is a winner. Mm, oh. This smells good too. I just don't... Yeah, this is kind of like a burnt red shade. I'm gonna need a lip liner, I feel like. Yeah, I think I'm definitely using this, but I just wanted to show you I also got something. This is like a little holiday sneak peek because I picked this up. I couldn't help myself. You guys know I love lip products and I've never tried a lip product from Tarte that I didn't like, so I had to get this. This is the Maracuya Juicy Lip Trio. So 
This is actually a new product. I guess like after the holidays, maybe they'll release the whole line. But this is like a holiday theme one. So the shades are Buttered Rum, Merry Martini, and Holiday Spritz. Like this. And this is like a balm kind of texture from what I understand. It says, indulge in these fresh pressed conditioning cocktails for your lips. Loaded with 10 antioxidant rich fruits for maximum nourishment and healthy shine. And it's a click button, so you click the bottom and the product comes up. It says it reveals the perfect amount of product every time, so click up once and apply to lips. So, I don't, I should have waited for the VIB sale to get this, but I was kind of scared because everyone was like raving about these and I didn't want it to go out of stock because in Canada when something goes out of stock like who knows when it's ever coming back so I picked this up but yeah not deep enough for today. I think this lip liner will be the best one. This is by Bodyography. It's the shade Rosewood. That I got in a boxy charm. Yes, that would be good for sure. And I already had on my Pat McGrath lip balm, which I always have on when I start my videos because I hate talking when my lips are dry. It's very, it's like a pet peeve. Anyway, I have to be quiet while I do this. Ooh. This is very sharp. This lip liner would be a good fall lipstick on its own, to be honest. But let's try out that lipstick. Another thing I like about these is that it has the color on the bottom here. So when you when you have it like standing, you can see. So I thought that was cool. Yeah, now that I put these two together, I think the lip liner is more like purple, but oh well. That was like so easy to apply. Very like one swipe pigment. It is very easy to apply a lipstick when the packaging is like this. Ooh, I love it. That was like very, like it's a very thin formula, but it's very smooth and pigmented and it feels like hydrating i really like this so far i don't think i'm gonna like the other shade so i might pass that on because it's a pink let me just show it to you you guys know i don't like pink lipsticks on me because they always turn like weird pink it's like this. It looks really nice in the tube. I don't know. I might try it. We'll see. So, I think that's it. Yeah. I guess so. This turned out to be kind of like fall inspired makeup. Um, yeah, I hope you liked this video. I'll leave updates down below about how everything wore. Um, because when I try a new foundation, I don't like to just give my f very first impression because it often changes throughout the day. But so far it looks a lot better than it did in the beginning, so that's good. But yeah, um, if you like this video, give it a like. I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. Um, yeah, give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!